Right, Claire's all right. Well, evening people. Welcome to Friday night's garage night. And um, we have a, uh, the floor has arrived. And um, so the plan is tonight we're going to bolt on the rear subframe. Um, put a bit of jacking behind that just to support that. Um, got some grinding to do as well, some cutting out. And then um, we'll start putting the, the side panels on. And um, I think there's a, a cross... I don't know what they call it now. Uh, what's that section called? Oh, your 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 stiff. Oh, your yeah, yeah, cross member. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Floor stiffener. Yeah, yeah, like a like a floor stiffener or a floor cross member that goes at the back of the, the subframe bolts on and supports the floor. So um, so that's what we're going to do tonight. So we'll uh, we'll we'll crack on. And uh, but b before we start, I'd like to say a uh, shout out to uh, is it Lone Star Mini? Is it? Uh, Hi, Randy. Randy. Um, Doing a great job there, Parks. You're just ready now to start. So uh, you've sold your money. Uh, go out now and buy yourself some tools, welders, and all the rest of the gear, and get cracking. And uh, like I say, you know, we're all here for the same thing. You know, it's a hobby. You know, we're not any experts or nothing like that. You know what I mean? We do the best we can, and um, everybody that does all this sort of thing, you know, uh, go on YouTube for you know to find out some things you know that they don't know and you know, maybe improve, uh, improve their skill level and that sort of stuff. So, so without any more, oh, I and, and to Piper Doug as well. There's gonna be plenty of flanges tonight, Piper Doug. I tell you that now. Plenty of flanges talk tonight. So, um, so loads of flange. Yeah, loads of flange. Loads of flange. So, uh, so sit back, relax, and um, enjoy it. So, we'll catch you soon.
people welcome back um that's the floor just resting on it just now i'm going to address it in the corner here it's catching the side there on both sides so i'm going to dress that up and then you can see this line going right down here now i'm sure that lines up with the heel board flange piper dog um there's a flange underneath that so i'm sure that lines up with that so I'm about, I'm probably about 10 mil off it. So obviously it needs to go f further forward in just a wee bit. Um, once I've done that, um, then we'll cut out the top panel along here. I'm gonna cut that up about an inch back along the top here because there's a flange on this panel as well as the wing at the top end so if I cut it back an inch from here I can make a repair panel here with the flange on it spot the spot weld them two together and then put it back in and then butt weld it along the top so um, plus the fact as well it gives me room to fit this panel in because I think the best way forward now is to fit the, the, the two side panels on Get them all screwed into place on here because um, that's that's going to be our reference point here because that's factory you, you know that hasn't been moved or cut out or, or um, anything like that so i think we should do that first we'll cut this out here fix this panel to this side same with the other side and then we can line up this pc along the back this return here for the for the back wing along the back there uh, and then um, we can take it from there so again this is all this is all new to me you know with the pickup um, so it's just a, like a learning curve so when we're happy with it we'll just bolt it in you know we won't weld nothing in just yet we'll just bolt it in ready to go because I've got um, some new light panels coming as well because the ones I've got are rotten um, so obviously that'll do that'll fit onto the edge of here then it turns back round to meet the, the tailgate. So um, I think that's what we'll do there now. We'll just, like I said, we'll cut that back, uh, bolt on the two quarter panels, and then we can move the floor to suit, make sure it's all square. Then we'll drill holes and bolt it all together and, and, um, and see how we get on with that. So let's go.
Yeah. That's, the, that's the two flanges together. See what I mean? So this top flange here is coming from this panel back in. That bottom flange there is coming from the rear quarter panel. So by cutting it back a quarter of an inch, what I'll do is I'll make this repair panel with the flange on it, spot weld that to the rear quarter panel, and then put it in position, and then we can butt weld it together. So that way it's getting a good weld between the two. Because that line there is supposed to be exposed when the cast, uh, when those two panels are joined together. Before they, they, they just filter over the top of that. And that's why it all cracks and all the rest of it. So that's why I take it back like that as well. So that's how it should be done, I think. <laughs>
look like this. Right, and the wheel arches here at the back, the floor obviously needs to go back slightly um, so we can get the the right positioning for the wheel tubs. Um, so that's not, a, that's not a problem because it's nothing welded in yet. That's the whole point of um, clamp, you know, clamp it up and mock it up whole first. And then once you're happy with everything's fitting, then you can go ahead and weld up. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And if you can come on the other side at the back, as you can see the floor, shiny. nice and shiny new. So obviously these bits here, the new uh, panels for the lights when they come next week, um, they'll fit in here. So you just trim off this edge here. So nice, nice tight butt around here, and the 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 floor can come come back slightly if we can get the right positioning for the for the floor to meet the uh, back lights. So um, I'm happy with that at the moment. So again on this side. As you can see, exact same on here. Just a wee, a wee trim off this end here, so that panel goes back to the floor. Move this back, the light panel will come in here, and then um, we can fix all this up properly with the and along with the tailgate as well, which should be here next week. Um, and same again on here, on this side here. Same again, exact same as what I've done on, on the other side. Uh, make a new panel up for this section here with a flange on it so then you get the two panels meeting with the line that should be there I'm not filtering with cat oil um, and again it's bolted in nicely so I'm happy with that Very good. pretty good tight fit in there as well so yeah so hopefully next week we'll get the the two lights on at the back the, uh, the new panel which I've got here Obviously that goes in like that somehow. I'm not sure yet. It's a step, is it? Yeah, it's a step of some sort, so yeah, so that goes in there. Um so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um and hopefully, like I say, next week we'll get the we'll get the light panels on, the tailgate on, and we can reposition the floor exactly where it's it's supposed to be. And once we're happy with that then we can um, start welding it all in um, for the final time. Um, uh, hopefully the back panel behind the seats should be should be here now. It shouldn't be too long now. That's been nearly that's been what two weeks now for that. And the new cross member for under the the window. We're gonna do some work on the window panel here. This section here. I've got a bead roller um it's only a small one but um we're going to try and attempt to uh <laughs> to do that with the bead roller I've, I've, you know i've, I've seen it on youtube you know what i mean man it's easy man you know exactly you know um so we're going to give it a go if not i'll uh i'll give trevor a ring <laughs> no no just kidding we'll, uh, we'll have a go and see what happens you know what i mean if it's a lot of crap then obviously we just need to bite the bullet and get another one but you know we'll give it a go and see how we get on with that a bit of fun, eh? yeah a wee bit of fun and then um and just one section to do which i've left is this bit here at the door is to finish off the reason why i didn't do that because i need to take the bracing out the bottom because when i welded it in from the inside i've distorted the panel a wee bit so it's coming straight and then it's starting to bow out like that so obviously i need to get that cross beam off so I can straighten it up and get it all uh, uh, into its right position um, so but no no happy with that and um, happy with all the progress I have ordered a new roof well I'm getting a second hand roof uh, a, uh, a saloon roof so that sh might be here next week as well um, so I'm sorry to spoil your, your bubble Davy, but um, the roof's not staying I'm afraid it's rotten um, you well, Davy said that the roof was just what's left of, of the car will be the roof and the A pillars, uh, well, the, the, the B pillars there. So, all that's going to be left is, is the B pillars and obviously this section here. Um, but it's just too. It's just too. Raw. 
<laughs> it's just too rotten. Um, you know, I might be able to patch it in. I don't know. You know. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. Once I get it all cleaned up and, and see how bad it is, you know what I mean. I might be able to, you know, patch it in. Um, but if it's too bad, you know, it's just easy enough just to, you know, just to cut it and weld it back in. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what we'll do. Back in the eighties style, you know. Um, uh, well, we used to do way right back in the eighties. Used to do all that, you know, uh, roof chops and all that. That was a the rage then. You know, roof chops. well. I thought it was just a skin. No, I've got a full roof. It's not just a skin. I've got the it's it's the roof up to here. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? No, yeah. No, oh, no, no, we're not chopping we're not chopping that off. We'll take the, the roof skin. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, it'll be done during the week when I'm when they're working. So <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. So yeah, so so hopefully, obviously, like I said, we'll we'll get everything sort of finished off from the floor. Um, start getting the the brackets on for the the jacking points in. Um, there's two other uh, brackets to go in front and back on both sides as well and um, you know a few more weeks I reckon another couple of weeks two or three weeks it should be I should that's all the building should be done um, which is pretty good you know it's only been a few months um, and hopefully we'll get the jig up as well which I'm looking forward to that get the jig all built up and get it on the on the jig um, so I'm looking, really uh, looking forward to that. So I um, hope you've enjoyed what we've seen tonight. Um, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.